All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of King's Cave 80. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for the support, for the likes, for the comments, uh, for the shares and all of that. I really, really appreciate it. We are re we really appreciate it. Uh, well, today, today we have a, a, a guest, a, a comeback guest. Comeback, yeah. Uh, this is the first time that he's on the English on the English side, the English version. version. He was here on the Spanish. He caused commotion on the Spanish, so <laughs> hopefully he does the same for the English. English. So let's welcome uh, to Edwin from Glassman Collectibles. Woo! Thank you. Yes, you Come on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for having me. He's thank you for having me. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Come, hey, come. It's a blessing to be here, my brother. Thank you, brother, for coming back. Thank hey. you, thank you. I'm excited. You know, I've been watching the show. I had some, some good going on, and it's going to just continue to go forward. We must have done something good for the first visit because you, you wanted to come back, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know. Did you slip him a toy? I, I, Did you give him something? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Usually when I invited a girl, like, she didn't want to come back. <laughs> she wanted, yeah. she, like... <laughs> He, he wanted to come back, so that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty fluent in Spanish, but I did have to hold back a lot because, mm. you know, my comfort is in English, but we'll that's, see. I, that's why, I, honestly, I was surprised about that. Like, everyone wants to do the Spanish one? Yeah, but, I, don't I, know, mean, I don't know, but uh, you know, honestly, uh, props to you all. Like, my my mother language is Spanish, and I yeah. still sometimes get, you know, yeah. to like, I just get stuck sometimes, but but uh, something that a lot, of, a lot of the Spanish viewers don't understand, and we should we should talk about this subject on the Spanish, on the Spanish uh, version of the podcast. Is like when we're in, when you grew up here when when you grow up here in, in the states as, with a Hispanic, uh, yeah, Hispanic family, community. Hispanic community. People, people, people. If you don't live here, you sometimes cannot pronounce on on no. If you don't live here, you don't understand why yeah. why Hispanics no. don't speak like spanish fluently yeah and sometimes it's because yes you you speak spanish at home but if you think about it from 7 a.m to 3 30 p.m you're in school man and that's yeah. you just speak only english and sometimes when you go back home mom's at work dad's at work you just you know chilling at home watching tv and then most of the interaction you have is like come come get some dinner go to sleep that's most of your interaction in Spanish, so that's what they watching all those shows. Like that's pretty much what was taking care of us while while mom and dad are gone. Yeah, working. but uh, exactly. Yeah. But then you watch those shows in English, and then sometimes it's hard. I used, honestly, I used to judge, you know, because I, I I live in Mexico until I was twenty five. I'm like, how come they don't speak Spanish? You know, like, yeah. But it's hard, man, because you know you spend most of your time in school and. And, and you know, even though it's, you 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 live around a Hispanic community, but even the kids, you know, even they're yeah. Hispanic, they they t talk each other. In, and in what English. I learned, it fades with time. Most of the time, the 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 ones that speak Spanish, you're either first generation, mm -hmm. second generation is fading away, third generation you're absolutely is right. You're right. It's hard, yeah. You no matter no matter how Mexican you look, like it's just, do, do your daughter speak Spanish? It, they, they they struggle with that. You know, they yeah, struggle yeah, with yeah, that. That's, we, what we, we that's exactly to, what he's saying. Yeah. And, and and we try to, you know, I try to speak Spanish. They understand Spanish, but whenever like I, if I ask them to say in Spanish, like they they, they they just it's hard. Yeah, my son's the yeah. same way. And for me, it's easier and faster whenever I want him to do something. Like I want to give him a command, or whatever. Like hey, just bring something. Just easier for me to say it in English <laughs> so they can understand faster. And, yeah. But yeah, it's it's hard. Yeah, you know, I, I used to uh, I used to judge that too. But now that you mention it, that's right. People on their houses they don't speak about. They're they're not arguing about something or making a point. So when you want to talk about something more difficult, you you're used to do it that in English. In Spanish, you're not like to 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 trail the words uh, one 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 after another to create a, a full argument. You don't do that in Spanish. If you're you're at your home with your parents. Or, it's not it's not usual shit. that makes sense but they right? call it they call it what the no sabo kids Los no sabo kids and and i i didn't want to mention that but, but because really? i feel like i'm not easily offended but yeah. but i'm not like that but i feel like that's kind of like a rude way to say yeah. it but but that's how you know i think that's how they call them themselves like but but yeah i mean yeah. but it still you know it it's 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 i mean i appreciate that y'all wanted to first of all Props to Carlos that she, he yeah. wanted to do it in Spanish. Like, like, all right. I, I thought he was going to say no for the Spanish. I'm like, all right. I am doing good. And then you guys. I mean, I struggle, but at the same time, you know, in the beginning, of course, I was a little nervous because, of course, there's words I can't pronounce or I'm trying to get my sentence out to make sense. But sometimes I don't. But, you know, at the end of the day, when you have somebody supporting, you know, he could he could clean it up for me. 
and we'll mm-hmm. do the same yeah. for one another. I mean, that's that's I'm telling you, it's that's it's working. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, so do you have a do you do do you uh, uh, well first we already started like you know chatting we went in dive into it because we know him but like for people that don't know like introduce yourself like what do you do who 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 are you what is it okay. what is who, you are you? who are you what are you doing here well my name is edwin i'm the owner of glassman collectibles and um you know the name glassman comes from i have a glass business i do window repair shower doors and stuff like that and uh that's mainly the source of the income that came to what i did so I gave honor to that by calling it Glass Man Collectibles. I've been doing this for about 13, 14 years. I started the flea market. My great joy in all of this is the toy hunting. Mm. You know, when I find something, when I'm like, nah, I'll try it. I don't know if anybody wants it. And when somebody grabs it and it just brings them, brings them back to memory lane, like, man, I remember when I had this it lets me know that I'm not completely wasting my time. And yeah. I do a lot. I do a lot of hunting. I mean, I almost stopped somewhere on the way up here, but I was already running, <laughs> I was already could, running late. You could have afforded it, man. You could have afforded it because <laughs> Carlos was late. He said, yeah, he was <laughs> late. So you could you could have stopped and shopped. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You could have done it. could have done it. So you're a glass repairer by day. Stripper by night. Stripper by night. And, and uh, evenings, you have a store. Have front. a store. Storefront. Yeah. All right. How long you have? Uh, you you been having the store? The store's going to be a year and the 22nd of this month. Nice. 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 Yeah. Congratulations, nice. man. Congrats, we, uh, man. Next have, month. I'm sorry. We have next to do, month. We have to do a, a, an open house, a reopening house, like, something like that. Like, yeah. Man, congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. So... Like I said, uh, he, you know, we already went through his story and all that. We might touch some some of those uh, little subjects on, on the English version, but uh, but I kind of want to like just do all new material, right? So yeah. first of all, tell us what you've been up to. Was the was the was the story now with the store? What is the difference between you know starting the store now having it for almost a year? Uh, you know, what's the difference? How's the progress? What can you yeah. tell us about that? Well, when I first started, I, I, t- I thought I had enough. Uh-huh. But obviously, I didn't. Enough to what? To inventory? put up on the inventory? To, f- to fill oh, it up. And, and I did, but there was a lot of empty spots. If you go now, it's it's covered mm-hmm. from floor to ceiling, right? <laughs> I have a small place, but like I tell everybody, it's a small piece of leather, but it's well put together, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And um, I've been overloaded, like, as in a lot of walk-ins. That's what's different right now is that I would tell people out at the flea market. And if you've ever been at Kohl's flea market, you got to park far. And mm. sometimes when you find me, you don't want to go back to your car yeah. and get your items. So stuff wasn't coming in like I wanted to. Oh, so it, it's um, right now it's mainly um, hunting, eBay, and a lot of walk-ins. Uh, that Green Power Ranger, that's that's a walk-in. Mm. Um Transformers are walking. Nice. You know, so it's now it's, it's it's opening up the avenue for more stuff to come in. I mean, on my way up here, somebody sent me a, a pictures of some video games bo- uh, complete in box, and I gave him a price. He's like, yeah, I'll take store credit. And that's another blessing. It's another, is, yeah, is yeah, the store yeah, credit is the money stays there. Yeah. So right now the, the store is a fish is full. It's to the point where I need it. I can only put something out when I sell something. Nice. Something sells, something goes. But up. you start building your 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 what is it called your box store like no no like the store is your your the inventory. Your inventory, inventory. now like the stock like in the back in the, the stock. No. Warehouse or something like that. Storage. Like storage. storage yeah, you, know? you you yeah. you start building your storage cuz I've seen you know, stores like, like well, those are huge, but like, you know, Dallas Vintage Stores or, or Retro mm-hmm. Exchange, they have like a huge back storage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whenever something sells, they, they're they ready to, 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 to replenish. Yeah. So is that something that you're kind of like in the process too? Or like- well, that's where I'm at now, especially like, um, so like I tell people my main things is games, comic books, and action figures. The back room, I probably got 50 of these. <laughs> I think so, I saw but, a story but that. You may, you, may, you mainly focus on vintage, too, is what I kind of noticed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if I do get new stuff, it's just like, I'm not going to lie. I might lose some of you I'm not a Funko Pop guy. <laughs> I'm not. But when you, you walk up lose, in there, you, you probably lost Carlos right now. now. I'm <laughs> never going to walk in that store again. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos yeah. So. <laughs> but when you're basically giving them to me, like, I'm thinking, like, man, I wouldn't spend more than 80 bucks on all those. Man, mm. give me 40. I'll take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't let pencil, right? I don't think about it no more. It's still, but yeah, but still, if it, if it makes money... Yeah, yeah if, I, I mean, if I can make something off of it, yeah. But it's like I was telling Carlos, like, it's not always selling what you what you like, right? 
Yeah. I know I might lose more, y'all. I don't. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> hey, by the time he's gonna be, supposed, he's gonna yeah, go, it's supposed to be gaining in he, LA. Hey, you almost like, one year, man. Don't, yeah. don't close shop now. I, I, I'm not a Star Wars fan. Yeah, no, you know? no, no. And uh, but but it moves, mm-hmm. right? People. I mean, the '90s, the '80s, '70s. If I see it, I'm grabbing it. I was not a He Man guy, but it moves. It moves. So, so let me let me ask you this: Have you learned more about vintage? Being that you opened up the store. Because you, so you first started, when you opened up the store, you already knew some things, right? Because, yeah. I mean, to open up a store, especially a vintage store, you need to know stuff. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying you need to know everything, but you need to know enough. Yeah. So, in this case, being that you already have a year, did you, have you learned a lot more? Uh, like yeah. variants, things like that? I have. I have. I get informed. And that's the other thing, too. You learn as you go, you know? And it's, um, yeah, it's, um, it. <laughs> I have learned a lot, but also is that everybody thinks they have gold. Mm. People come, like, this one guy came. He had his whole card collection since the 90s. And when he told me he had 90s cards, I'm thinking, like, yeah, these things, mm. they ain't worth much. You can have a nice hol- a holographic card, five, most on eBay, $12. But regularly, they're $5. They've been so yeah. mass produced. Man comes in there by my age, got about 400 cards. He's thinking at least each one of them is worth five. Oh, wow. And I take out my books and I'm like, I got the same ones. I sell them for a dollar a piece. You can see his cartridges. Oh, man. So that's the downfall is that a lot of people, and then not only that, is like some people think you're making up prices. Like they looked it up. They searched it themselves. Mm-hmm. And you know, there's a difference between what it's sold for yes. versus what it's posted from. Yeah, how anybody much you're asking. Ask, anybody can have an asking yeah. price. Somebody yeah. brought me something that they were determined that it was worth 130 They wanted half 60 I'm like, I'll check it out. Last one sold for 50 so I'm like, man, I, I'm not even going to make you an offer because I ain't trying to offend you, right? Mm, they yeah, ended yeah. up make, changing trading for something else. But that's that's what I've learned is everybody thinks they have. But but see, but that, but that's that's a good that's a good way to, to look at it because that's you don't want to offend somebody, but you find other avenues to make a deal with yeah. somebody, and that's 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 the way I am as well. Sometimes I say, you know what, I really don't. When they, they come to the store and tell me, hey, do you buy? I like, it de- I always tell them it depends. What is it you're selling? Um, more than your stuff i don't i don't really buy if it comes in a lot that's the only reason why i have it like uh yuli a perfect example he gave me some new a little bit of newer stuff but it came in a lot so i i I received it yeah so that that's how i accept things you know but other than that when when they tell me hey well can you give me store credit or we talk about we could we could find an an avenue if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but a lot of times i mean as as a good shop owner you want to Try try to have a good you know a good relationship with them and and have a good conversation make yeah. them understand that you're trying to work with them so they come back again. Cause and and that's the thing is to build bridges. You know I show yeah. myself in a lot of these stores and and I buy if I can make trades. But you have to build. I mean I send people like people come into my shop like hey we came from San Antonio who do you recommend? I give them a list. You need to try refried relics or retro exchange. Yeah, yeah. Super happy misfits. If it's the weekend, you need to go hit up. Matter of fact, first one's on my list. Go hit up the antique mall. The antique hit- mall. You just hit a lot of a lot yeah, of shops yeah. and you know at once. So you spread them out, you know, because I mean, end of the day, I mean, there's too much money to be made out I got, here. I, I got to so. give it to Edwin for sure, for sure. If, if anybody else, if any, anybody in this in the in the in the mm-hmm. industry here in here in Houston, it's a it's a promoter promoter of other like business mm-hmm. other than his is edwin like i've seen him promoting other stores pushing other people stuff yeah, yeah. i'm like i mean i haven't I, honestly everybody there's a good community here in houston a lot of people will tell you oh go to this store you can go to this store but edwin pushes like everybody it's like a that's t- a good it's, thing it's like a, yeah it's a, it's a tiny you know like it's, it's a tiny community it, like well, uh, you said you got to but not everybody thinks like that and, man. and, and a, that's yeah and you know and, that's, and also it's a good karma people <laughs> yeah. always you know push it back to you you know people will recommend you to your store but i like i like the way that you know edwin will always you know share stuff from other stores i'm like when when i've i've been to stores where like if you don't find something and then you ask them, like hey, we're gonna like Oh, I don't know, man. It's mm-hmm. hard. Da, da, da. Like they don't want to. They don't want to promote the other promote guys. other stores. I'm like, like, man. I feel, I feel like it's a community that that should be, you know, stay together, right? I mean, you, you, look. I mean, and I, I know, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, and and it, it's good to a certain point. But I understand why other stores don't do it either because it, at the, they still see it as a competition. Now, the thing about it is like, I would understand being that Ed, Edwin also has a glass. He does the side. He, that's pretty much. I don't know if that's your side gig now because your store's your your first priority. 
But a lot of these stores, they rely on that. And so I, I've, I know why stores do that as well. But at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm in between. I, I'll still promote two other stores. I'll be like, yeah, over here, we'll go, go to Toy Atomic. Or they're right across from mm. me. Edwin has a bunch of Marvel stuff. Like, that's the guy you, if you want any toy bitch shit, he is pretty much portal. I've, I've actually went, sent guys with me, yeah. myself to go, you know, things like that. There's nothing wrong with it. I me, mean, I don't see it as a, as, as a point. Why? Because, as I mentioned, it's, I see it more as a hobby. But at the same time, it, it, I do want to see it as a just business. By, just by sending someone to other shops, I feel like I've been more as a, as a buyer than a seller. Or a a seller, I, baby. I don't have a store. <laughs> we're, we're I gonna, sell some stuff, but I don't have it. We have 30 minutes to talk about Anyways. this. we got about 30 minutes of uh, <laughs> early being a reseller but I, now. I've been, I've been, you know, of course, a, a buyer more. Yeah. And every time that a guy tells me, like, oh, you can go to this, and it gives me a tip on where to go or how to do it or, or or if you tell me a little bit about the story of the toy, you invest five minutes of your time explaining it to me. Why is this, you know, what age, what 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 year is it or whatever or who, where can I find this? Or where can, I'm like, I'm going to come back to you. I, I'm going to go to the other store mm-hmm. to find whatever I need, but I'll come back to you because, you know, you were cool enough, you were nice enough. And you to, have resources. You, you and, and, and yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like, that doesn't affect your business when you refer to other to other shops. I don't think that affects it at all. Like I it just, I think it just grows the community. I, I, think, I think well, just just people in general, the walk ins. I think it's a good experience because at the end of the day, if, if and I'll be honest, if you go into Glassman's uh, collectible store, you have more of a chance to come out with something than come out empty handed or coming out with your heart broken because you're gonna get. Why? Because he's gonna work with you, and that's mm. what I'm saying. Like that means a lot from from trading, from store credit. A lot of stores don't do that. That's, either. A, cool, that's a cool thing. Another, that's another cool thing. I, I, it just sounds like a big, big information about Glassman, but but uh, on his store, you know, he's most of the time he's there, and whenever you deal with the owner, I feel like that's very important for a, for a, for a toy show for for because because you know you can really probably negotiate if you're built mm-hmm. like bundling or getting a, a big log yeah. or something like that. So props to, to Edwin because, you know, he's always, you know, on top of, of the business. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, maybe this is like, again, I have two store owners here. But uh, let me ask first Edwin and then maybe uh, Carlos can answer. What is more important for a, for a toy store, for a toy, for, uh, toy store? The, the people that buys toys from you or the people that sells toys to you? Like the walk-ins to like, or the people to buy. Like I know it has to be a balance, but what is more important? That's a good question because my <laughs> answer was going to be it's a balance, right? But um, it's it is a mix of both. But I am thankful for those that helped me because I got a few. I had a buddy of mine. He owned a, a thrift store, and I was I would go there every week to the point where like, hey man, I got your box together. Just take it, pay me when you can, pay him off. Well, I guess he got tired of doing what he was doing, and he told me, like, hey, I'm going to close my store. I'm going to get everything I got in the back. I'm like, okay. He calls me. He has 55 game systems back there. He has Ghostbuster parts, Ninja Turtle parts. He has uh, uh, the Megazord parts, and he's like, man, just take it all. We'll figure out a number later. And I came up with a number in my mind. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to wait till he says <laughs> something, right? He's like, look, man, I'm going to look out for you. You just open your shop. Give me this much. It's like I'll take it. He calls me a few weeks later. Hey, I bought, I found more in my storage, and he brings it to me. Oh, Dennis, Atomic Monkey, another mm. one. Hey, man, I got thirty boxes in my way. Come pick them up. Wow, I, yeah. I, those thirty boxes that I just picked up they're from Atomic Monkey. But that's that's also what I said. Like if you if you're good to other yeah, people, gonna, they, you get you build relationships, you build bridges. All right, so maybe re, let me rephrase it. Okay, so because I, I guess this is, this is important to 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 sell the toy as to buy it. I guess let me rephrase it. What is harder to get to find? Like a, someone to sell you stuff or someone to 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 buy stuff from? I would say to buy because that was the case. I would have an oh, empty yeah, store. Yeah, okay, so it's hard to get <laughs> customers to buy. Yeah, yeah. than the people because you can have a, a lineup of people of selling you stuff, but for yeah. the price that you need to buy it uh, as a store, I think that line will shorten up a lot because a lot of people kind of like want to get like almost full price when it comes to a store. But you know, so 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 you'll still say it's a harder. Yeah, because if you have like, if that was the case, my store would be empty, right? If I had a killer clientele, but I mean, 
I feel like in my head, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you, right, but I feel like in my head, one of my dreams or most of the collector's dreams will be to put up a store, right? Because this is like you live in yeah. the dream, you're living out of what you love and all that. But I'm like, I'm scared to not be able to find a uh, 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 stock. Yeah. Right. I mean, the stock. If you do well, it enough. Yeah. Go. Well, the thing about it. So, so buying. I think it's is buying is more important because when you know that's exactly what I told Edwin a little while ago. Um, he knows how to hunt. When you know how to hunt and you know what you're looking for, it, it becomes easier. It's just icing on the cake when people actually walk in because they're doing the work. If you want to say they're doing the work for you, you don't have. He didn't have to go drive across town. Somebody just brought it to you. That's nice, but at the end of the day, he's not he's not just sitting there and I'm not just sitting behind it and just waiting for somebody to walk in to bring me some more inventory. You have to go out there and you have to find it. I gotta give it to to Edwin. Like cause I've seen his stories and if, yeah, if you good. if you don't follow him, follow him on Instagram. Is it Glassman Comics? Glassman Comics. Glassman Comics. Yeah. Uh follow him on Instagram. Every time I see his stories, he's somewhere on a yeah. very remote, <laughs> remote area. little town. Yeah. How do you find that the flea market? How do you find that? How do you do it, man? It's work, you know. I get calls, you know. I get called. I don't just work in Houston, the little towns, Texas City, Cyprus. And when I'm there, I just thrift store, resale, antique store. It just stays on your mind. You got to keep grinding. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. You have to keep grinding. It's not, that, that's what I'm getting at is is when when you, well, for one, he's, he's killing two, two birds with one stone. He's actually doing his job his side job his side gig and then he's still focused on mm. his first part whatever, whatever story, you yeah. well, for example like you said you were going to come here and you, you on the way you were going to stop like it was something that you kind of like had something in your mind or you saw something or how do you how does that work like you just just I've, I've there's places that i've found stuff before and i haven't had a chance to go back to there's a goodwill coming up here hmm. i found stuff there before see because i saw a lot of vhs Mm -hmm. okay, okay right okay. and that's another one is having the right connects because i mean you there's some that go for three dollars five dollars even some go for a dollar and there's some that are worth like horror movies they're worth yeah, those are horror more. Movies out there. Mm, I, I have a specific see I, I i share a lot of businesses but i got my honeycombs that i don't share yeah. i got somebody that sells them to me for 10 cents yeah okay, well, okay. don't say that either it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> I mean, no no no, no, no yeah, but it's a lot it's a lot of um <laughs> it's a lot of knowledge, man. Because whenever you think you know your stuff, you find one of those, you know, people that 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 dedicate, you know, their their whole time, most of the time to, to toll hunt, and the things that they come up with. You know, whenever I see their stories, your story, people that I follow in in California, so like that, like, and then just the the the, the, the knowledge of you know, see something because I I if I see something like this, I can I can look it up on the on the on the you know. On eBay read it right here and that's it and i know it's vintage or whatever but but then there's stuff on a pile of stuff under a pile of stuff and then people will grab the like people like you people like you will grab something like this is valuable and this is like five cents i know i have i can sell this for twenty dollars <laughs> like that yeah. that's where i can really put the the phrase of yeah. knowledge is power and you yeah, know yeah. And, and that's you know and that's the affordable side because the other thing too is you also got to spend like I'm going to confess, I'm not a high-end. Like, I don't have a lot of high-end toys in my shop, right? Because I'm real frugal. I'm going to use that word. Am I going to spend 150 I'm going to have to look it up. I don't, I don't know what frugal is. Maraton. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah, okay, got it, got it. Right? Like, um, am I going to spend 150 on one item or can I buy a lot? Mm. If I have to make that decision, I'm most likely going to go with the lot, right? But... It's like recently somebody called me and they told me they had some Ninja Turtles, right? They weren't complete, but they had a lot of weapons. He's like, look for all these, I want 200. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, man, I got, I can't give nobody a discount uh -huh. just to double my money. Hey, can you do eight? No. Can you do 15? No. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got, oh. had to be firm. It needs to be, it makes sense though. Right? Like yeah. the only way I'm going to make money is if I give nobody a discount. I was like, all right. The first person that saw me post them and came to my shop, man, why you pay so much? Like, cause he gets so hell out. They want me to give it to him cheap. I'm like, sometimes you gotta spend. Mm. Like you're asking me for turtles, mm -hmm. but you tired of seeing the same ones. And I finally got some new ones. Guess what? I had to spend a little bit more. Does it matter the line? Like, there's I know there's like turtles right now. It just moves anything, like crazy. Anything. But does it matter on, on the line that you buy? Like, like would you invest more on like things like Star Wars, like like turtles? Other than, or, or I don't know, I've seen like 
garbage spells because right now it's moving a lot like or is it like season like or how it, do you know it all depends on who walks in there because you just need that one buyer that's you can have it, like right now i have two collectors that come regularly nothing but batman stuff and mm. i buy like a hundred three hundred dollars worth of bunch of miscellaneous like this bubble bath car from the mm. 70s and i'm like hopefully when they come it's not a piece they're missing mm. Mm. oh i got all of those yeah so that's the other thing is that you can buy and you can have a collector like yourself that has everything on the planet that's Ninja Turtles. I'm like, man, I don't got nothing this man needs. Because those are yeah. the ones that are coming to, you know, they'll come to spin. They come regularly. But I got a, I got a guy, a guy that's collecting Super Nintendo games. And I buy specifically from when he comes. This last time I bought 20 games. I got them all. Okay. Oh so, man. So you get what I'm yeah. you got it for him. Like, <laughs> yes, but that's the thing. That's the thing. Sometimes you can't just rely on that one. Yeah. You want to, but, but you stay with the stock. You keep the stock. Yeah, I mean, you still keep it, and you could do trade. I mean, the thing about owning the stores, like I said, you could do all kinds of things. If if you if you just if you think outside the box, you mm. could do trades. You could do uh, store credit. The walk in that's a perfect. You I, like there's been things that I've been I've been sitting on. You know more hiring. In things and guys walk in and they eye it but they don't they don't even want to ask how much or they're just uh, how much is it i tell them like oh man you know okay and then six months later they come with something like hey would you be willing to trade for this and or can we make a deal i'm like okay well what do you want i mean what, what do you want and I, I was eyeing this okay well let's make a deal and that's how sometimes i end up with with you know other pieces because not everybody like like i said you want to make money of course that's the whole name of the game make money but there's all there's other avenues to make money. Sometimes if let's say, I'll say if they were to tell me, you know what, I'll sell you, I'll give you eight hundred dollars worth of Funkos if you give me this hundred dollar fifty piece right here. I'll probably take it because it's gonna it may take me a little longer to to make that, but I know I'll make that money and some. Yeah. So there's always other avenues. If you just stay, knowing your yeah, yeah if you just stay in in close, then you're you're not gonna succeed. And that's about that's what talking about hunting and knowledge, having all that, knowing what you're looking at when you're looking at lots from eBay. That's mainly my my shopping is eBay and stuff that I get on whatnot. You know, I don't really have the the time the to go time to stores, of, uh, yeah, to go to stores like 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 you know Glassman. But I mean, I try to find other avenues. And and mm. when I get walk-ins, that's just icing on the cake. It's like okay, it's easy now. I didn't even have to go out there. They just came to me. And there's been times that they actually told me, hey, Glassman, sell me over here. Like okay, well, yeah, man, I got what you, what you're looking for. They're all I'm looking for. Okay, so we, you know that's that's yeah. that's how it goes. Yeah. And I have a limit of stuff sitting there. If it's sitting for too long. Matter of fact, when I do How this... How do you get rid of it? Well, there's... Okay, so when I... Actually, the I didn't say this earlier, but the, the toy shows, that's when I liquidate. Hmm. I take all the stuff that's been sitting or I got doubles of. <laughs> oh, okay. And it's just and, like... <laughs> cheap, yeah. cheap. And I liquidate okay. it. Okay, okay. It's just kind of like to keep the move, the, the and, money and moving. And the other way, yeah. too, is uh, there's uh, like games and stuff like that. There's uh, there's another... Sp uh, uh, so a vintage game store in Pasadena... He has a small section of action figures, and he gets vintage from time to time. Mm -hmm. I take them all my games, store credit, and I get action figures. Okay. So somehow I get yeah. If it's so sitting for too long, it's making dust. Because I would it. say like this every time, every time you get someone the same, and it's if it's a usual, what do they ask you? What yeah. new guy? Yeah. What what's new? What's new? Mm. That's the first thing they ask yeah. you. What's new? Guys, so. and right now uh, in your stores. Um, do you feel the pressure to always be restocking, or that's something that you that that you had in the beginning only, or do you? Well, in the beginning, for me in the beginning, I I I think when I opened up, I was pretty good, um, because I did have I did I, I already had maybe like a year's worth of stuff that I wanted to to sell, but once you start selling, then then you start getting nervous, like oh man, this is selling a lot quicker than what I expected, so then you start that's when you start understanding okay. You start understanding more a little bit. Oh my, this is my opinion. I, I started learning, learn, learning more a little bit about how the business runs. I got I gotta have a balance. I gotta have stuff coming in as stuff comes out. So just like Edwin says, whenever something sells, you better have something there to to, to replace it. To replace it because if you don't, then then and, and that's the that's the pattern you have going. You're gonna be in big trouble. Yeah. So there has what to you be think? you know just like you sell, just like you sell, you have to use that money to buy and. Make profit so you could buy something else and buy more things, and that's just the way it goes. Yeah, if your shop is full, then you're good. But people like myself that has an addiction, <laughs> you have to have that yeah. that, that type of a uh, hoarder in yeah. you. Yeah, and then the thing is now is that you know through thrifting, especially like you see if you watch those guys that go to Goodwill, um, the bins, I go to these so much. 
that the guys there know me. Hey, I got something for you in my car. <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 that's you know, so it's like I'm I'm going to hope I'm gonna find something for real cheap. And I mean, they you course they gotta mark it up, but still they're giving like man, I paid a little bit for it. Here, give me this much for it. Mm. And that's always been a blessing. I show up and they already got a basket of stuff. That, that's for nice. that's, that's cool, man. Those are your plugs. I mean, that, yeah. that's, that's what you say. Like yeah, that's, you build bridges. Yeah. Um, all right, let's let's change the subject a little bit. Uh, <coughs> you know, you you buy, sell, and all that. Is it hard to keep? Um, a collector's heart still in you? Do you still have that? Do you collect something? Uh, again, I think my thrill is on the on the hunting. Like, it's on I mean, the hunting. I guess because like I'm sitting there and I'm looking at all this stuff. It's, it's technically mine till it sells, right? Mm -hmm. I have not yet. I have been thinking about getting back into collecting, but it's it's hard. Cause What's, I, well, let me ask you this: <laughs> What would get you? What what figure? What line would get you? Say, you know what? I'm gonna get back into collecting. If you what, ever go back, yeah. What what would it be? Because right now you said. You have everything that all, like, all collectibles you have it in your store. <laughs> Look, just think about it. You have a whole cave right here full. Just pick one item and Yuli's gonna give it to you so you yeah, can start your collection. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know, man. I mean, I wasn't getting into the Secret Wars, but I, right now it's just I don't really have. Um, Cause see, me genuinely, uh, it was the the comic books. Mm. It was I just I, I the hunting them. I remember. Like I said last time, I found a first appearance of Wolverine for 50 cents in a thrift store. Jeez. So I got think for me, I I came, I became more of a hunter than I did yeah, become collector, a collector. Yes. And it's more like, I mean, people think I'm crazy. My One of my good friends, Mr. Rusto, he does graffiti. When I told him that, you know, my joy is when I sell it to people and I see the joy. No, I guess, wait. It's like, mm. you know, like, he don't believe me. I'm like, no, I'm for real. Yeah. Like, you help to out. see them like, man, I've been looking for this. I grew up with and this. I, I've, I've, I've said that before myself. When you see guys walk in. Like, I believe him. I don't believe you. They, but they, but they, I, ooh, to they, everything uh, I do believe. <laughs> and, of course, it's a hobby that, that it does profit. But because, like, I guess because I do it so much. And I, I when I do see that, I'm like, okay, it's working. Not wasting my time. That's good, man. No, yeah. I, I feel like I don't have that. I'm not going to say the time because I do have a lot of time, but I, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I feel like I, 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 I need to go with you sometime man, to go hunting or something just to kind of like learn some tricks. Uh, if you yeah, want to yeah. share, right? But, no, you never sh you never but, tell your but, secrets uh, to another reseller. <laughs> if I want to ask anybody, it's going to be Edwin. You know, I know Carlos yeah, won't share. Yeah, he's a reseller. I don't trust resellers. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, like, I feel like I don't have that that in me because I, I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, but yeah, that's cool, man. That's but, cool. But you need to think about it like this. If you think about it, you're growing up before my eyes. Mm -hmm. Because when you first started, you know, you were... You were just buying, like yeah, crazy, yeah. you know, and then, and then, and then you started finding your, you find, you started finding your niche, mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you started reselling. Hold on, li listen to him. <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> listen to him. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Later down the run, you say, you know what? You have buddies that sell. You're gonna get more intrigued. <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> and you're gonna get that itch. And you're probably, uh, no, you're probably they, they, each of, of putting a store, it's been always, you know, I feel like, I, I, I don't want to say it's been my dream. Because I don't think I've, I've, it's like, oh my God, it's my goal. Because if it was my goal, I would I would have done something already bought for it. But I, I feel like it's something that like in the back of the head of like, oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool to own a store. But that's the itch that and, you and want to yeah, scratch. No, no, it, and it's always been in my head. But, but and also I would like to put a, you know, a storefront. And if I do it, it'll be, you know. But but I don't know. I feel like I'm more afraid. I feel like I'm I'm not a marketing guy, but I've worked close to the marketing and all that, and mm -hmm. I feel like I know how to market. Uh, maybe a store or whatever. I, I think I, 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 I it wouldn't be a problem for me to get customers into the store. My biggest fear will be to run out of stock. Like I feel like that'll be my 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 you know race against. Yeah, you know, you saying that's because. You started you started off with a lot of the the mm -hmm. hard hitters. <laughs> so for you to for you to now like you know what, let me reverse and start hunting, it's gonna be hard because it's like we already looking for gold crumbs in, in, in the in the ground. You're looking for diamonds. And you're not yeah, I'm <laughs> it's no, slim or numb, it's slim numb. But and this is the thing too, like, you know, because I've had people tell me like, you know, if I'm gonna sell if I'm open up a store, I must sell nothing but graded figures. Mm. I tell them go to the stores right now that have them and see how long they sit there for. Mm. Yes. I know one person right now that has like 
20 of them on the wall. You go back next year, maybe three or four of them sold. Yeah, I know. So you get what I'm saying? It's like, so when I Big see... Big ticket the, items, but they don't move as quick. Yeah, that, and that's what that's what exactly what I said. You, The last show we did, remember I told you, we took I took smaller things, I saw more volume. And believe it or not, that show I heard, you know, and I, we were there, and I, I could tell you from experience, yeah, that show had a little bit more people. And this time it wasn't as packed as it usually is, but... And a lot of people say they didn't do so good, but I mean, we did pretty good. And, you know, because we sold a lot of smaller things, you know, but volume, by, by volume, mm. and, and sold. So it's just like, you know, when, when Retro Exchange, when Jorge was here, we talked about that. With with experience, you start understanding the, the process. You start understanding the movement. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that as soon as I opened up the store, I'll be like, I already know everything, how everything's going to go, and everything's going to happen. I know I'm going to sell this, I'm going to sell that. No, because I understand that, yeah, when you sell a higher, higher item, it's going to sit a little longer, but all the smaller things sell a lot quicker. So you have to have a balance. Yeah. There has to be a balance. And I think, I think, I think that's where, if anything, that's what, if that was to be stopping you, I think once you get a little bit more knowledge and you know about, about more lines, lines that yeah, you're lines that I don't collect. Yeah, exactly. So I, all I know, it's from lines that I that's collect. That's exactly what I'm saying. So li- lines that, that you don't, because there's a lot of lines that I, I don't collect, but I know about them. Yeah. Because I have to know about them. Would you see, do you see yourselves ever, uh, I'm going to say quitting your, but like, yeah, just kind of like do 100% the store. Like if, if it gets, to is that, the, is that kind of like a goal? Um, it, I mean, it's my retirement plan. Okay. Cause realistically my, my glass business is my main source right now. Okay. Um, I just been able to manage it where I only install till 12. If it takes longer then I hire, I mean, I got some of my sisters that help me. But if um, it gets to the point where it takes over like that, then yeah. But for sure, right now, that's my 401k. <laughs> I'll be, be an old man like the guy at Third Planet. <laughs> that's <laughs> good. That's good, man. That's a, that's a big story, though. Guys, okay, so yeah. I, I, have, I have one question. Um, I don't want to be pessimistic, but... Um, you are, don't worry. <laughs> yo, 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 always, that's, that's a good thing about your, your questions, is like, uh, being pessimistic. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's what we have you here. You know that every dude, every bro wants to have a bar, and everyone, everyone's at some point, oh, I, I want to have a bar, or someone that likes to cook, oh, I want to have a, a, a restaurant, and then maybe they do it, maybe they don't, but then it becomes like something that you weren't expecting. So at least you're just going to have an insight of what it looks like on the other side, having a store. But at what point does it become the same thing of being a collector and then, oh, I want to have a store. Like everybody says, I want to have a bar, I want to have a restaurant. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it just... I mean, honestly, I think I think you have to have the passion. You really, you really have to have a passion for it to it. make that big step. If you're if you're gonna be, I don't know. I feel and you're like, not sure. I, I feel like it's just more of a: Are you willing to lose that money? When when you start a business, is is you have to be prepared. You have to be, you know, you have to be knowledgeable and all that. But at some point, you have to be willing to lose that money. Whatever money you put into the to and the into the shop, you have to pay rent for at least you know a one year contract. Then if you like, you have to be willing to lose that money. I feel like what what I would say. I think investors, you you you, you got to spend money to make money, right? That's yeah, that's, but that's, that's, that, that, yeah, but that's that, what but, it but is. You, you, you got to do it. Yes. Does it, does it always work like that? No. You it, no matter if you willing to put the money here, but at not, the same, it, it at doesn't the same always time, work. At the same time, you're not gonna go. Let's say you want to open up a, a a construction a construction uh firm, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know nothing about construction, right? So you're not going to get into something you're not too familiar with because then you're really going to have those thoughts. But but when you're going into collectibles, stuff that you actually know about, he knows, at least he knew what to look for, at least when he first started. I, I knew that people were going to like turtles. I knew stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not going to say that I knew from the back of my hand people were going to be just forming a line because all the stuff that I had, they were going to want because I wanted it. There's so, always a risk. There's always no, a risk yeah, that it, it doesn't work. It, like. it's always, I'm not gonna say that I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and say that everything's 100 percent bulletproof and it's always gonna work. But what I'm saying is, you're gonna at least go a little bit more confident, knowing that you have knowledge, that you understand, you understand the game, you understand that there's competition out there, you understand it. If you go into a business, start wanting to start like that, and you think everything's gonna be, you could put whatever price and anybody's just gonna walk in and buy it from you. That that is when you start understanding. Okay. It's not what I expected. No, uh, for sure. So expectations, if you have expectations, then, you know, you got to be realistic with it and understand the knowledge. Like I said, at the end of the day, 
collectibles, and I said it before, when it comes to vintage collectibles, people that walk into a collectible store know what they're looking for. They at least know something. They're not going to be like, why is that 100 bucks? Oh my. Yeah. Some people do question it. But half, more, of the, more of the times, they know what it is because they know it's vintage. So they're going to be like, I know that's... You, you have Sometimes you have people going to my store, parents that are pretty much our age with their kids. The first thing you tell the kids, do not touch it. It's not a toy. That's the first thing they tell the kids because the kids are already going and trying to put their hands on it, and that's the first thing they tell them: do not touch it. It's it's, it's a it's a collectible, mm. and they're ooing and all, and the little kids shoving them. Let's go because they're <laughs> looking at the Funkos. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. So you you understand? I, I already knew stuff like that was gonna yeah. happen. So that's what I'm saying. It's just you gotta be confident. I, I would I wouldn't say that, you know, if somebody goes in. It's not a smart idea to go into something you're not even yeah. familiar with you but do you do you think that you need to love more the hunting than the collecting I think because Edwin because we, we have Edwin like that we have also the owner of, of Retro Exchange that he doesn't collect by himself So, but I collect I do love collect yeah no it's a mix I mean because I like the stuff too you know like, no you don't <laughs> you know like I mean look People walking understand. in here this stuff ain't mine I'm like wow it's nice I just visited uh, the museum in Austin I thought that was amazing right I walk in there and it's like it, it takes me back too you know it, it is I, but, but okay but check it out so I for instance, me, perfect example. I have stuff in my collection that I won't sell, but people have asked me, can you sell it? And I tell them, no. You made a comment last time on my Instagram. Is that for sale? And I said, no, it's not for sale. That's my collection. I could sell some this of This is stuff. the weakest story. Carlos, he <laughs> puts up a stuff. But wouldn't that be your, your Achilles? No, thing? no, it's not color? because, as I mentioned, there's things that I won't sell, but it's not. Bec- but I am willing. I have sold some high-end stuff. I'm, I'm willing to go some things. I have done it before. It. If it's gonna consume why, me, why? If everything has a price, why don't you just put a price on everything? Even I will put a, a price on it, but at the same time, let me ask you. Okay, and, I, and I'm gonna say this. Okay, I don't want to step on anybody's toes or say anything, <laughs> or, but I don't want to be known like that, that guy's crazy. He's putting all these ridiculous prices. I don't want to be that store because then that's what they're gonna see you as. You can put you can put uh, store price and PC price, <laughs> personal <laughs> personal collection Personally. price. I mean. I'll put it in my shop and I'll sell it for you. There you <laughs> go. Yeah, but, but, but that's what I'm saying. If I start putting prices that I'm not wanting to sell do it. Do you yeah. do... Consignment? Uh, uh, consignments? Yeah. yeah. How mm-hmm. does that work? Uh, you can either rent a shelf like that, 20 bucks a month. Okay. Or uh, this one guy has a corner Hot Wheels. Mm. Same. But right now I'm full. But I mean, literally, we have one item. I mean, like Carlos, I wouldn't charge you. Just put it over there. Uh, really? Nah, charge him, <laughs> man. Nah. He's the one that should charge I, more. <laughs> okay, okay, so the consignment. So you, you will rent a shelf. A shelf. Okay, okay, so. And then. Whatever sells. But you don't yours. take profit on whatever sells. So it's they just, put prices. Do they give you, all right, so you can. 25 a month. No, 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 but I don't want to give out the, 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 the secret, but <laughs> do, you, do, you give, do you give people like, or if you deal with like, they're not there to sell it. So they put prices on each yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. That's their do money. you have an opportunity to negotiate that? No, that's them. Like, and that's even better because, like you said, the owner's not there. Like, no, okay, but what he's, I'm, I'm guessing what you're trying to say. Like, say for instance, that no, if I put it up, I can tell you, all right, this it's is the sixty dollars. And can, then you say, like, you know what? You 70. can give five percent off. No, you would have to say yes to that. No, but let's say I tell you, like, whatever in my, yeah, my, my cabinet, yeah. like, if they, they buy more than one, yeah, so. yeah, but I wouldn't, like, I would, like, hey, I got this guy here. It came out to 100. He wants to know if he can do 85. You say yes, but I mean, it's your stuff. How much for a shelf? 25? 25. Oh, that's shit, man. man he sounds like it is. I'm going to start putting up some stuff, man. That's how much I'm gonna the rent, antiques. I'm going to rent a, booth, <laughs> a couple of shelves there. That's how much the antiques are charged. I mean, I I have have a shelf at one in, in, well, not yet. I've been talking to him. It's a place in Baytown. Mm. It's an antique store, and just twenty five bucks you get the shelf. Whatever you sell is yours. And you want to put up there yeah. a shelf, okay? But see, them is a big one. It's the whole thing, fifty dollars mm. actually. And but, that's but, cool because yeah, you have like, like, sorry, that, that's kind of like having like, like eggs in different baskets, right? So you sell out the, you still, your mom's or it was you or just your mom still, still on the, at the, at the flea. still on the flea market. Yeah. You yeah. have storefront. And then now you wanted to put on... Well, on see, this is what I've seen recently. Uh, I met a guy in an antique store, and there's a couple that... Motorcycle, right? Him and his wife. Mm-hmm. They drive around the country, and they drop off stuff in different antique stores. And they take a road trip, and they just go collect their money mm-hmm. and come back. So I started thinking, like, man, maybe I can leave some of this stuff, like, in four or five different stores in Houston, just a shelf. Yeah. It's an yeah. idea. I still ain't done it. 
Yeah, but it's an idea. Yeah, like, but like I said, you put your eggs like you put eggs in different yeah. baskets. You know, you use different ways to. But like I said, the man at the same, at the same time, it, it it varies because that's I mean they they have different ways of, of doing yeah. it. You know, sometimes you can sign it. They say, okay, I want a certain percentage off of this. It goes all different ways, but that's another way to do it. We're just gonna charge you a flat rate. If you sell, you sell. If you don't, I don't care. You stole me yeah. my twenty five bucks or whatever you come up with. So that that's just the way it goes. It's a it's a risk. Because if it doesn't sell, let's say let's say your shelf sits there for five months and you only sold one thing and you're still yeah. you're just investing money. Mm. You just so other people will do it. Yeah. Like if I sell the product for you, you give me a certain percentage, but, but it actually sold, and then that's when you have to pay. But if if you put a shelf and it doesn't sell, yeah. that's a risk right there. That's what you got to think about it. There's all kinds of ways of thinking about how the way but you, you can do promote it. it. You know, I mean, me, I would be. Like I got stuff over here. Yeah, yeah. Come you check promote it, out. it, of course, but it's part, it's part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're marketing it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. And you got people that might live closer to me. Mm. Then come. Nah, for sure. That's cool, man. That's cool. There's a lot of ways to to kind of like make it. There's a lot of tricks and and traits on, on on the business. What is the 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 thing that you will hate the most about this? Like, like I don't look after. Like I don't look forward to do this. When I get deal with Carlos, no. <laughs> when I when I have um, <laughs> cleaning the games, man, and and pricing stuff, because I don't put nothing out. Like especially like now that I'm in it, like, games are, is new to me. I've only did, done it two years, but I don't put it out unless it's been cleaned and tested. Okay. And <laughs> to do that, <laughs> the bagging and tagging. I mean, yeah, pretty much bagging and tagging. Yeah, like, so look it up for the prizes and stuff that you. Okay, okay. Yeah, this one guy brought me a bunch of stuff, and I put it in the bag. My connect brought me a basket full of games, and then when I'm when I put that in the bag, somebody walked in, and I'm like, it's gonna take me two days to go through that stuff. <laughs> so I mean, it, that's that's a, I mean, but I get it done. I mean, it's not not as bad as it sounds, but. Is the price, but it's cleaning. for you. It's for you. What you don't, yeah. you don't really look after those. If I can get someone, someone to clean the games for me, it'd be great. That's <laughs> for a, sure. You find a site, yeah. We find someone, a site. Someone, extra, someone, extra, someone, whoever watches this, if you come in there, you know. So I'm, yeah, I'm cleaning games, cleaning, making sure it works. I'm, yeah, I'm that's that's games. another thing. You know, you you want to put out a reputation that you sell stuff that yeah. actually works and all that. You don't want to be selling, you know, broken stuff or broken games or you know figures yeah. that. We'll have rare pro stuff or something yeah. like that. That's cool. That's cool. What is the thing that you enjoy the most? Probably the hunting, but I don't know. Yeah. What, what is the what is the most enjoyable thing about? Um, selling, grabbing I mean, that the, money. The hunting is good, you know. I mean, I I get joy finding. Stuff. I mean, even when or like I said, when Dennis called me and told me he had those thirty boxes, mm. just loan well, them. That's loan. nice, Dennis. Called he never calls me. We started like we started the thank podcast you, with that. Edwin is cool. He, you know, <laughs> he's cool with everybody. You know? Yeah, you yeah. have beef with a lot of people. And, and and, and like, like I said too, you, like because I mean, some people are picky, you know. But if you do the math, like I, I'm, I went over there and, I, and he's like, "You want to go through them? Nah, take them. You sure you want to go? No, nah, I don't want to go through them. I'm thinking that's 150 books in that box. If I mm. sell them a dollar a piece, mm. yeah." You know, like make your profit. Yeah, and then that's more. and then I I got dollar bins. I got some books that are worth more. You know, but I that, have a younger crowd. That's what I was gonna ask you about that when it comes to comics because I'm not too familiar with comics. I mean, I'm pretty sure even the the most noob knows about the the Spider Man's and stuff. But all these other 300 issues and how how hard is or how long does it take to to say okay i know this is a dollar this is a dollar this was five dollars so like what do you how, how do you process that the truth is that a lot of those books are not dollar books they're still worth what the cover says the covers right now a comic book right now in 2024 is going to say 3.99 or 5.99 that book is still valued as that mm. i can bag them and sell them for that but since i want them to move quick a dollar's not that bad mm. And then you still leave room for somebody else to yeah. either make a profit or just get a, a W, like yeah. And it, but no, yeah, this this uh, that number I won't mention, but there is <laughs> uh, there's a room for a lot of profit. Yeah, you know. Okay. But you still make your money quick. You yeah. just move your yeah. And then right now uh, the blessing is that I have a lot of young guys, like guys that are 18, 22 years old. These new comics to them, that's it. You get mm. someone our age, like oh man, you got the new stuff. Yeah. Mm. Right, that's on the guy that buys a box here and there. He's looking for just 90, 70s, 80 books or older. Mm. These young guys come. Oh man, I've been looking. They stocking up. 
So this is a different crowd. That's yeah. cool though. That's Very cool right. that you yeah. still have you know a crowd you know of different ages. But that it, like that that to me cheers me up because that lets me know that people still you know yeah. they're still you only not it. old people man you only yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you don't oh, that's why you don't have you, yeah that's why you hang out with us man but <laughs> you don't know you don't have that younger crowd. Yeah. <laughs> um, what would be the main difference between that like vintage and new like like? I mean to me I mean I'm a vintage guy. Um, the new stuff, I mean, again, it wouldn't be for me. It'd be, for, it'd be more for what the people like, you know. Um, Funko Pops, I, I was, I told myself I was not going to sell them in my store, right? <laughs> Some guy walks in with 50 of them, and so I have I have them there. Okay. I've sold half. They actually move. So they I'm move. like, okay, this thing is. <laughs> well, I could, I could tell you Funko's do move, but yeah. I mean, shit. Yeah, so they moved. I'm like, okay, well, it's. I'm not a fan of them, but people, my nephews, my cousins come in. They're oh, thanks for Uncle Pa. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> there's something right there. Hey, whenever any Funkos just come to Uli's, he has a bunch of Funkos <laughs> yeah. in his attic. Yeah. I used to. I, I, I wanted to sell them to you. I was gonna give you a good price. You guys didn't want it. <laughs> I ended up selling to to somebody else in another store. But honestly, I just wanted to get rid of them and yeah. um, just in a clean, clean, clean house. And I did. I, I just I was yeah. good. But anyways, um, what will be something that you sell like? Besides Funko, that now you just had to kind of retract in that. Always something like, I will not sell this on my store. Or if it just makes money, you'll do it. Uh, would not. I don't sell sports stuff. You don't sell sports stuff? No, yeah, I mean, because there's sports action figures. Mm -hmm. That stuff does not move. You can give it to me for a dollar. I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> that stuff does not move. Mm. Sports action figures, sports cards, even sports cards. I don't. But you know what's crazy? There's a big market for sports cards. It, it's, 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 it's just not, not me. Yours. I yeah. guess that that's not where they want me to walk down that path because I've tried it. Mm. I have no luck. I've. I mean, yeah, you got a Michael Jordan, but I mean, for me, just to sell Michael Jordan only. Yeah, I, that's the one that's. Because I mean, I mean, I know we're talking about action figures, but there is sports. I mean, it's a collectible. We're talking <laughs> about collectibles in general, so sports. I don't. I don't touch them. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I mean, like I said, sports sports cards. I know some people that sell them, and they actually gone to my store and asked me, "Hey, do you sell baseball cards?" I'm like, yeah, I don't. I don't have anything like that. I mean, more so, I have like Pokemon. But even 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 then, it's. I mean, everything has a, a fluctuate. Every everything in from from cards to sports to vintage to modern to whatever. Everything fluctuates. At one point, I heard Funko was going down, and all of a sudden, like, it's, yeah. it's up. They, uh, didn't they say, like, they, they just already closed down, like, the main Funko uh, place or some, something like that? I don't know. Some, so that's what I'm saying. It just, it, everything fluctuates. I think the economy is what actually drives drives you. And that, that, that is where we talk about, you know, from experience. Experience, um, I experienced, you know, when, when uh, at one point it slowed down. Uh, you know, I wasn't really selling a lot. Mm -hmm. And I had to figure out, okay, what's the best way to move stuff? So, lower down the price. You know, what, what is still is still convenient for me. Sometimes you actually got to make a sacrifice. Like, hey, let me get this some of this stuff out, get this new yeah. stuff in. Because b believe it or not, even though people are still hurting for money, or they're like they're paying two hundred bucks for one week's worth of groceries, you know, it's like they still go out there and look for so stuff. So for the hobby, yeah. That doesn't mean they're going to be buying like crazy, but sometimes they do leave with something. Like, And I'm even like, wow, I wouldn't even bought that. But okay, I mean, that's... that's but it's just, it's just that's what I'm saying, the experience, the experience and... Uh, everybody's looking for something different. Yeah, everybody's looking... And there's things that I've had at the store, and, you know, like... I, I Sometimes I even bet myself, like, I know I'm not going to sell this. <laughs> and, and then it sells, I'm like, it's damn, so I, I'm yeah. surprised my... I, I'm surprised because people have that what oh i remember this i I never remember that toy but people knew about it and they, they buy it or they ask me for things that i start learning about like would you say when people come in they start asking you hey do you have this no did you know they made bootlegs i didn't know they made bootlegs mm. and so yeah. you start looking and that interest intrigues me yeah you, yeah, yeah and you, so get you start you looking, investigating yeah, about yeah, it there you go that's that's so that's, one one of the things that that edwin um told us or this is one of the stories that like i said everything from the podcast in spanish was like i think it's most of it was different but i do want i don't know maybe it's gonna you know make him upset you know to tell the story <laughs> again but one of the stories like i oh, oh, shook me when when he was telling a, a, the story on, on on the spanish podcast is whenever you you actually lost your collection man like yeah. you want to you want to say that story in english yeah yeah what so, happened so um i was already um 
I left the flea market for a little bit. I had gave the store to my to my mom. I started going to church, mm-hmm. right? Um, I'm very active in my church. I do prison ministry and all that. And um, I told her, you know, I'm going to give this up for a little bit. Just watch over this, uh, the store. I got some stuff I'm going to pick up. So I put all my good comics in one of those shipping boxes on the floor. My good comics were never on the floor. I had a little Tupperware drawer. Mm. They wanted a tie case. Whatever gets in there, I knew it was never going to get that high. I left my comic books on the floor, and then it was one of the hurricanes. It, I, it was before Harvey. It was the one that flooded downtown real bad. Allison, I think, Allison? Maybe, maybe. The 2000, 2001 or 2000? No, something like, it was after Or that. 20, oh, yeah. This was 2009. 2009. Yeah, nine. I think I was right, right, right before I came here, yeah. Okay, yeah. So that hurricane came, and um, it, it got six inches of water in the in the flea market. Carpets flowing in, and uh, the box was destroyed. Like, I picked it up water got inside the sleeve they were destroyed like and that was, that was part of your collection though yeah i had i had a lot of experience like probably had 80 books in there that were going home with me my 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 personals um first wolverine number one fantastic four and a bunch of other stuff oh. and uh when i got and and, and uh, my mom sends me pictures of that stuff I was so mad, like so I just can't just throw them in the trash. Just the no other I, I, don't, I don't even and I said, I'm done. I'm I'm done with that. That kind of Yeah, I was like, I took it as my sign it's from like God. A switch. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right. So I was like, nah, I am done. But then a few years later I got back into um got back into hunting. hunting. I left it alone for a little bit. My um so how I got back into it was I visit her store one day because now it's her store. I ain't been there yeah. in two, three years, and like, who replan- who who restocks the store? She was for a little bit, but this is the downfall is that when I went back, she had number of McDonald's toys, <laughs> oh, and yeah, I yeah. was like, oh my god, what are you doing, you're right? So I said, you know what, I'm gonna remodel. Was the store name the same? No, I used to go up first. I was off the wall comics. Off the wall? Because I was devoted to just comic books. That's when I found out that action figures sell more. More frequent than they're, they're uh-huh. more more constant than the the, the comic books. Mm-hmm. So I went by off the wall comics and I started buying action figures. I didn't sell no type of games in, and when I came back, it was in ruins. And I told I'm gonna remodel this place. I'm mm-hmm. gonna buy new items. Got an offer up and just started buying, buying, buying. Got on Instagram. Um, got on eBay. Got right back to going to thrift stores, garage sales, and her. I want to say six months. That store was brand new oh, wow. and then i couldn't stop buying <laughs> then i kept buying i'm thinking like man i can fill another boot and then i said you know what i'm going back so then we had two booths i had my mom and i had mm-hmm. mine and i mean a year later i was like you know what i'm probably gonna open up a shop nice, nice. yeah cool so yeah, it was a it was a sad story when you told us like like when yeah, you, did, the, did, did the, that so uh, it doesn't the, get any better when you tell it again if you tell it again man it's just, yeah the, the, so did that like make you feel like I don't want to collect at all it make you want to go honey or later on but did you say I'm just done collecting um, I guess because at that point I was because you were collecting I mean yeah. you collected comic books but yeah ever since you can say ever since then you really didn't become a collector anymore. Uh, it, yeah, it's because like I guess I was already going through that phase where I'm like uh, maybe I'm over this. And when that happened, it was like. So what? What if? What if that were not to happen with the comic books? I probably still was, but see, I'm not gonna lie. Like I tell today, because I got one guy that's always calling me out. But why you go by Glassman Comics? You don't hardly post any comic books. Uh. He comes to my shop and he wants me to always have the top, you know, Silver Age. Yeah. He goes, you go by Glassman Comics, but you don't really got much of uh, comics. You know, yeah, comics. Because right now, I if I was to collect, it would be action figures. Okay. I have more oh, thrill right okay, now okay. finding actual figures mm-hmm. and then comics. Books. Yeah. I, you, oh, you, but you know a, what it is? I mean, believe it or not, comics in the market. Like, if you're really trying to find one to resell, like those good comics, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna buy them at at at, at, a, at the price that the the market. Do you, market's do you for. think you you can still find good like comics well, like see, on the wild? At a cheap, you know. At a, well, that's the thing is that there wasn't too many that I found in the wild. Most of them were on eBay, and I like you said, I was paying close. Mm. That's what I say. Comics, <laughs> comics. You, I I never seen where comics worth. Let's say, let's say comics let's, is more of a of a like fine like end up like 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 the market like yeah. the market value. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not if you're gonna re, if you're gonna buy a comic, you just kind of like wait it out to see if it goes up. Yeah, or, no. If you're gonna buy a high end comic, don't buy it to try to resell. I'm gonna tell you yeah. like that. 
mm-hmm. it's going to be it, because you're going to buy more vac- market value and you're trying to maximize the profit. Unless you hit the jackpot and then you just got you something that it's almost like when he said the, the, the Marvel yeah. universe was working in the back and yeah. then all of a sudden like like Doctor Doctor Doom or whatever like the mm-hmm. the infamous Iron Man I don't know like oh whoever had those yeah. now it became and it's going to yeah. gain more value and, and stuff like that. It's in the boxes like I, I remember I bought a box from Afra for a hundred dollars mystery box don't know what's in there. Mm-hmm. Has the number one uh, Darkwing Duck. I didn't even know I had a comic book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, I'm the comic book guy. I didn't yeah. even know Darkwing Duck had a comic uh-huh. book. I saw that book for I think f- sixty bucks. A number one Power Ranger. I think I sold it for twenty. Um, there was like ten books that I made two hundred dollars out of. Oh wow! And I got what a, a two hundred and eighty-two books left. Okay. A dollar a piece. A dollar a piece. Yeah, so I double triple my money. So the your money's gonna be in buying lots the boxes. Yeah, whenever I see those um, on eBay, like mystery whatever, I feel like I've never yeah, seen I'm, that. So what is it? Yeah, eBay soon. I see it. Yeah, I've been seeing on I, eBay. It's called a mystery I, I, box. I, 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 so what body is, search or bags? I want you search I, mystery, one, you know, one time. You, but when you, okay, say first you go to the search bar, comic book lot. You put okay. Look, put and no, 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 no. And, and there's yeah. like like I never eBay sellers. Yeah. That they have like a lot of listings and they're just like Mister 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 like That's and then it can be bags. At uh, one time when I first started collecting, I kind of wanted to put a couple of comics uh, and I bought like one or two that it like ten or fifteen that came in a bag and it's pretty cool. You come up with yeah. the books and like, but you never know. You never know what's, what's, what you're gonna get. But I'm like, I don't know if it is. They're never gonna put a high end like that. Uh, you're yeah, never gonna. That's what I'm saying. So, so I don't think you never you ever gonna win a. They call them fillers. That's what they are. Like you're gonna get those books that I say. The cover says two ninety nine. Man, you might when eBay first started, they were good. I remember I bought a hundred. That's uh, what I was gonna ask right now. They think where you come. eBay to. first started because now you have centers that they'll just put some BS shit in there and you know. Because there was a season where like, like I like I said the last time, the movies woke up a lot. The Avengers movies, the Iron Man movies. When all those movies started coming out, but right before that era, mm-hmm. you get on eBay and start buying stuff like. Psh, this stuff was cheap. I bought uh, I bought a box of thirty seven. I still have that that receipt that the tape to the box. I found it the other day. Thirty seven sealed spawn action figures for thirty dollars. I don't know how the hell they got away with the shipping. This is two thousand seven, two thousand eight. I didn't even pay thirty bucks. You, you try to do that today. Nah, nah. Just you, one figure is thirty bucks. I've heard that you guys said that you sometimes go to eBay to to, to buy and re- 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 yeah. stock. Do you still find yeah. bills on eBay for miscellaneous stuff? Lots, mm. like those stickers that I posted earlier. Mm-hmm. Those from 1980s. They're from our, uh, Venezuela, I think. Marvel stickers. Mm. I didn't know that until I researched them. I got those off of eBay. Nice. That's cool, man. That's cool. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. It's a whole experience. I'm like, um, not sure if I ever will open up the store like or anytime <laughs> sooner or like that. But definitely it intrigues me. Definitely it's something that. I feel like m- more than one of us that is watching, we've always had that dream of living up of our hobby, you know? Like, I think that'll be a dream come true on most of, uh, a lot of the viewers right yeah, now. Yeah, because they, they, everybody can have a different, a different passion for it. But Just it, living it, up of something that you love, that's, that's I think yeah. that'll be super cool. And, and, you know, congrats on both of you that, that, that you're, like, on, there, on the path or just hopefully you one day be 100%, you know, Self efficient on, on, on just the hobby. That'll be great. That'll be Thanks great. Thanks to but the podcast. Nah, yeah. nah, man, I wish. I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this helps you some. But yeah, if you if you don't follow uh, Glassman or Carlos, I'm pretty sure if you here you follow Carlos and I. But but if you had, you don't follow Edwin, just follow him. I always put up the the, the the tag on under 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 the the name. So so maybe you should follow him. And if you know. You said that you don't ship a lot, but would you be? Able? I would, yeah. Some yes. people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I asked them before the pilot, like, do you yeah. actually do a lot of sales mm-hmm. on IG yeah. or mm-hmm. outside? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah all sources. Right. Oh, hit well. him up, hit him up. Maybe he can ship you some stuff. And definitely, Edwin will, you know, work out a deal or just tell him that you show you saw him on the on the podcast and he'll give you a good deal. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So thank you, yeah. thank you, Edwin, for, thank you, for coming. I really appreciate you, brother. Uh, always bringing the cool stuff. Or we have a, an entertaining stories, yeah. conversation on and off the podcast. So I appreciate you. The next Thank one you. we're gonna do in Chinese. So yeah, we're gonna do in Cantonese. Or ah. we'll see. We'll see <laughs> what else we come up with. But uh, well, thank you, thank you, thank, no, thank you, everybody, you. for watching. Thank you for uh, you leave your comments down below. 
like so, share so, subscribe. so we did we did we we talked about this in the spanish podcast and uh we, we, know, we we're want, not done you know, right. we want okay. we want to interact we want to oh, interact okay. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> that's why we're not done we, okay yeah, yeah yeah so so we're trying to when we didn't do it today because you know we had a guest but whenever we don't have a guest we're gonna start like trying to interact with with, with the audience so we're gonna like you know read the audience uh, since, we, since, yeah. since we cannot do it live so uh, we're gonna be put posting on, on i guess on my instagram like if you want to share a story you want to share uh you know I, I don't know a subject that you guys want to talk about we can read it we can i think mostly stories right so horror stories or whatever about hunting about toy hunting or whatever just let us know and then and then we'll, we'll probably read it on, on on our podcast and then yeah we'll there. shout you out and just read it and talk about it and see what you know which yeah. i which i want is a I mean, that, that pretty much lets y'all know that we are reading. Well, more we so didn't want to do it in this one because we didn't want to, you know, take Edwin's yeah. time. But, uh, but yeah, definitely we'll, we'll start doing that. So thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Edwin, for coming. Uh, thank you, you. Thank you. Carlitos, thank you so much. Mr. Edwin. <laughs> Isa. All right, Th guys. Take care. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. I get old.